Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll discuss a package for calculating relative risk, odds ratios, and attributable risk or risk difference using R. The relative risk, odds ratio, and attributable risk are all measures of the direction and the strength of the association between two categorical variables. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will explore the relationship between gender and smoking. We'll start by producing a two-way table and saving it in the object TAB. We can use the table command, and here we'd like a two-way table for the variables gender and smoke. To visually examine the relationship between these two variables, we can produce a bar plot. Here we'd like a bar plot of the table. We will set the beside argument equal to true to have these bar plots placed side by side. And I also set the legend argument equal to true to have a default legend produced. You can see my earlier video in series two for more on producing bar plots. It appears that the non-smoking group has more males than females and the smoking group has more females than males, suggesting that there may be a relationship between these two variables. In the previous video, we learned how to conduct the chi-squared test of independence, although we noted that this test gives no indication of the strength or direction of any association. The relative risk, odds ratio, and attributable risk are all measures of the direction and the strength of the association between two categorical variables. We will be using the EPI-R package to calculate these summaries, although it should be noted that there are many other options of packages that one may choose from. I've already installed this package, so I'm going to go ahead and load the library for it. For help on installing packages, you can see my earlier video in Series 1 on installing packages in R. To access the help menu for this package, you can type help and then package equals EPI-R in quotations. We will be using the 2 by 2 command to produce these summaries. Here you can see the documentation for the help. Now, recall the 2 by 2 table we had produced. We can calculate relative risks, odds ratios, and attributable risks using the epi.2 by 2 command. Here we'd like to produce this for our table. We can set the method argument equal to cohort.count if our data has come from a cohort study, and we can set this to case.control for a case control study. It's worth noting that if we set the method to case control, the relative risk will not be returned. We can also set the conf.level argument for the desired level of confidence we would like, 95% being the default. We can see that we are returned the relative risk, here called the incidence risk ratio, along with a 95% confidence interval, the odds ratio, along with a confidence interval, and the attributable risk, along with a confidence interval. We're also returned other adjusted measures of attributable risk. Taking a look at the odds ratio of 0.71, this can be interpreted as the odds of a female not smoking are 0.71 times the odds of a male not smoking. If we take the inverse of this, we can have females as the reference group or in the denominator. Then we can interpret this as the odds of a male not smoking are 1.4 times the odds of a female not smoking. It's worth noting that often books or notes have formulas and interpretations presented using a table using ABCD notation. We can see this in the picture here. The exposure in this example gender would appear in rows with the first row being yes or exposed and the second row being no or unexposed. The outcome variable is presented in columns, in this example smoking, the first column being yes or diseased, and the second column being no or not diseased. We can reorganize our table to look like this so that our interpretations will match the standard ABCD interpretations. Recall the table that we had produced earlier. If we would like to set up this table in the standard ABCD format, we can do this in a few ways. The first, I'll create a new table called table two. Here, we will store the information in a matrix using values of 44, 314, 33, and 334. We will let R know the number of rows is two and to insert this information by rows. So we will set the by row argument equal to true. 
Here we can now see the table set up in the standard ABCD format. The matrix command was introduced in one of my series one videos. So you can take a look at that for more information on how to create a matrix in R. We could also create this table using the square brackets and the C bind commands. We learned about these in earlier videos as well. I'll demonstrate saving it in an object called table three. And here we would like to bind together in a column wise fashion. We will take from our original table, the values stored in column two, and then we will bind to that the values from our table stored in column one. Here we are just reversing the order of column one and column two. If we would like to add names to the columns, we can use the col names command. Here we'd like to create column names for this object table three, and we will make the names yes and no. Now we can take a look at table three again and now we can see the columns have names as well. Now let's go ahead and calculate these summaries again using the epi.2 by 2 command and we will do this for table 3. Again we will set our method to cohort.count and I will leave the confidence level empty using a default of 95%. Here we see the odds ratio of 1.42 which would be interpreted as the odds of a female smoking are 1.42 times the odds of a male smoking. It's worth noting here that the confidence interval contains the value one, indicating that the odds ratio is not significant. In the next video in this series, we'll start to talk about correlation and then linear regression. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.